G'day, it's Nick from Hobby King again. I just wanted to show you a couple of new chargers we've got in. Um, we put them on the site last week and they've been doing really well. But a lot of people are a little bit confused about these. So I thought I'd go through them and just give you an idea of what they're about. So we've got the SC608 and the SC620. They both will do uh, lithium ferrite, lithium iron, lithium high voltage, nickel metal hydrides, uh, NICADs. They'll do lead acid batteries. They basically do the full range of batteries that most people are gonna wanna use. Um, they operate from 9 to 32 volts, which is great considering they'll do up to 6S. First off is the SC608, that's this one here. Um, now this will do up to 8 amp charge um, with a 3 amp discharge. It's pretty high for a little thing like this. It's only 88 by 58 by 21 millimeters, so it's pretty small and really light. It's a great little piece of, uh, of kit. Ideally, you probably want a 250 watt uh, power supply to charge this if you wanted to do uh, 8 amps at, uh, on a 6S battery. But um, look, not many people are going to do 6S batteries at 8 amps, so you, you, could, you could get away with a much smaller uh, power supply than that. Um, next, we have the SC620. Now, this little tiny charger here will do a huge 20 amp charge, um, up to 5 amp discharge. And um, it also includes a uh, 2.1 amp uh, USB 5 volt uh, output on the side there. Um, again, it's very small. It comes in at 115 by 130 millimeters um, by 52 high. Ideally with this one, you'd want a 350 watt um, power supply um, to get the maximum benefit and, uh, and efficiency of this charger. But again, you don't have to have a huge power supply to warrant using this. Okay, so both of these chargers have exactly the same menu and function the same way. Having a look at the uh, SC620, um, you'll see that you've got this little scroll bar on the side here, which flicks through your, your various functions. To enter into the menu, just give it a click. Then to choose the uh, task you want to do, scroll it up. You can choose from charge, discharge, or a storage charge. So once you've chosen that, just select your battery. Again, it's just one click for each type. Uh, we've got LiPo, we've got uh, lithium high voltage. Each different chemistry is, is in the menu. And then we want to charge, it's a two cell battery, uh, which it's already selected for us. And we want to charge it at, let's say 5.6. We can charge it higher, but it's a new battery. So once you've chosen the uh, current you're going to charge it at, to scroll down to start, press the button, and off she goes. So they both work on this shuttle function, uh, which is basically a scroll wheel and a, and a push button. Um, now, if you want to stop that, you give it a click, press stop, and you're away. You can even uh, go in there, start a charge, decide, hey, I want to increase my current, go in here, and increase the current as you go along. It'll, it'll bump the, the current up to what you wanted. It's small size makes it super convenient and it does everything you could want a charger to do. So for further details, have a look at the links below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great products as they come out. That's Nick signing off. Stop.